Hi my beautiful glam dolls. Today we are doing an updated eyebrow routine, so let's get into it. I'm first taking a clean spoolie, which is a mascara wand not used for mascara, just to brush up and out on my brows, just to make sure I have a clean slate when I put on my eyebrow products. I am now taking my Bedellium Tools angled brush in the number 763 and my cream eyeliner from e.l.f. that I use in the color coffee. It's just like using the dip brow from MAC. And I'm just sculpting my eyebrows from its my natural shape. And I'm just doing the ombre gradient effect that I like dark from the three-fourths of my eyebrows to the tail and lighter to the, when it gets to the front of my eyebrows. And I do my eyebrows before I do my makeup because I feel like if I have foundation all over my eyebrows and all that stuff, it tends to look ashy and it doesn't last long. And I'm repeating this step on my other eyebrow. And remember ladies that our eyebrows are not twins they are sisters so they're not supposed to be identical And now to set my eyebrows, I use a dark chocolate brown to set them because I just used a cream eyeliner. So this will set them in place, it will set and lock the color in place. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tamana palette and I'm using the color chocolate. And I'm using the same angled Bedellium tools in number 763 to apply that color. And now I'm using the Maybelline Brow Drama and Deep Brown is a sculpting brow mascara. So this keeps your hairs in place and they do not move whatsoever. And I love this super duper 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 much. For $8.99, you cannot go wrong. Especially if you have thick brows and you know long hairs and you want to keep them in place all day. Perfect. I'm now going to use my LA Pro Concealer in medium beige 
and this is to sculpt and make my eyebrows nice and neat under and around it to give it that crisp look and it looks neat and I'm using my Bedellium Tools 937 concealer brush and you want to use the color of a concealer that's going to be close to your skin color because since we are using it under and around our um, eyebrow and we don't have any makeup on right now so it will blend in easily when you put your foundation on so you won't have the too like halo look of eyebrows if you know what I mean and you want to repeat you want to repeat that step on your other eyebrow I'm now taking my LA Pro Girl, my LA Pro Concealer in Natural, and I'm just doing the concealing again under and around my eyebrows. Yes, I know this is a lot of steps, but you don't have to do all these steps. It's optional for you. You can tweak it to your liking, so don't go by what I'm doing. I am now taking my Real Technique brush it's a blending brush so I am blending out all my concealer that I did under and around my brow so make sure that I have a good nice and blended area so when I put on my foundation nothing looks like a mixed match and after you do all this blending out you can go finish the rest of your makeup and I am back this is the completed look I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys learned something new and everything will be listed down below so don't forget to give it a thumbs up bye